Get ready for an extraordinary cosmic event on the horizon. A colossal red giant star at the edge of our galaxy is sending mysterious signals around the world. Through the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have made baffling discoveries about this massive celestial body. Renowned astrophysicist Brian Cox issues a dire warning and raises the question, are we witnessing a catastrophic supernova explosion that could change our night sky forever? Let's dig into the details. In the vast space where stars come to life, bloom, and finally meet their end in a brilliant spectacle, one star has recently attracted the attention and concern of astronomers and the public. That star is Betelgeuse, a big old red supergiant that sits prominently in the constellation Orion. While its unique reddish hue and changing brightness have long fascinated observers, recent developments have increased interest in the celestial giant. As we explore the nature of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the brink of a potentially monumental event in the life cycle of a star. But what could these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we witnessing the prelude to an incredibly spectacular cosmic spectacle? Betelgeuse, approximately 764 times the size of our sun, is a vast star church almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so massive that if it were to replace our sun, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars and embrace Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its stellar embrace. This remarkable size not only shows the physical characteristics of Betelgeuse, but also highlights this stage in the life cycle of the star. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the twilight of its existence, characterized by expansion and cooling after a lifetime of fusing hydrogen into helium at its core. Although the current red supergiant stage of Betelgeuse is humanly relatively young, about 8 to 8.5 million years old, it is the result of millions of years of stellar evolution from the hot blue star to the red giant we see today. Betelgeuse's distinctive reddish hue comes from its cooler surface temperature compared to stars like our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's cooler surface registers a temperature of about 3,000 to 3,500 Kelvin and emits light at wavelengths that give it a red appearance. This color is not only visual, but provides insight into the physical state and processes of the star in its vast gaseous space. The mystique of Betelgeuse is enhanced by its historic color change. Ancient Roman and Chinese writings said it was a yellow star about 2,000 years ago, and Arab scholars described it as red in the 8th century. This color change in human history provides valuable clues about the evolutionary path of the star. Betelgeuse's changing glow is just as fascinating. As a semi-regular variable star, its light waxes and wanes periodically in a typical light dance after a 400-day or longer cycle of about five years. Sir John Herschel has documented these cycles since 1836 and perhaps even earlier in indigenous oral traditions. But what adds to the mystery of Betelgeuse is not only its changing brightness, but also its irregularity. Unlike many stars that follow a predictable pattern, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening, suggesting complex and less understood processes within its massive form. In a recent groundbreaking revelation, Betelgeuse caught the attention of astronomers and astronomers around the world with an unexpected and dramatic change in its appearance. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, known as the Great Dim, began to mysteriously diminish, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent part of the Orion constellation. The dimming of the star was so strong that it began to lose its brightness at an average rate of 0.1 magnitude per day and reached its lowest brightness in February 2020. Betelgeuse, normally visible to the naked eye even in light-tolerant areas, has significantly decreased changes that even amateur observers can detect. However, observing Betelgeuse activity comes with a challenge, the time paradox. When we look at something like Betelgeuse, we don't see it as it is now, but as it was in the past, because of the time it took for light to travel to us. In the case of Betelgeuse, approximately 725 light years away, it left the current star almost seven centuries ago. This lag makes it difficult to predict and observe sudden changes in the star's behavior, since we are essentially looking at its past. Backslash N backslash N Andrea Dupree, associate professor at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, and her team closely observed the unfolding celestial drama using the Hubble Space Telescope. 
They analyzed the giant star as part of a three-year study to monitor variations in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. These observations provided unique insights into the dynamics of a variable star like Betelgeuse, which regularly expands and contracts, causing fluctuations in brightness. Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light allowed scientists to study the layers above the star's surface that were partially heated by convection cells in the star's eddies. Additional analysis of Hubble spectra taken at various points in 2019 and 2020 helped measure the movement of material in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere, focusing specifically on the magnesium row and Roman twin lines that indicate the atmospheric conditions of the star. These observations showed that material is moving about 200,000 miles per hour from the surface of the star into its outer atmosphere. This hot, dense material eventually extended millions of kilometers from Betelgeuse and was the precursor to the dust cloud that caused the star to darken. Dupree and his team estimate that the southern hemisphere of Betelgeuse lost approximately twice as much material in the three months of the eruption. This mass loss was significant, especially considering that Betelgeuse, like all stars, is constantly losing mass, albeit at a much faster rate than our sun. The size of this massive explosion and the decrease that followed gave rise to a debate among astronomers as to whether the event could be a precursor to a supernova explosion. The proximity of Betelgeuse, approximately 725 light-years from Earth, adds to the intrigue, as such an explosion would be visible from Earth, providing a rare opportunity to observe a supernova up close. However, the question remains. What does this dark event portend for the future of Betelgeuse? Is this a sign of an approaching supernova or just a unique episode in the long life of the star? Several theories have been proposed to explain this sudden change. One prevailing theory proposed a stage in the supernova explosion process that gained traction when Betelgeuse was believed to be nearing the end of its life. Another widely debated theory suggested that Betelgeuse dust itself blocks our view. Red supergiants can be like Betelgeuse, and it has been suggested that this material can form a dense cloud of dust that causes the dimming seen from Earth. Another explanation involved the star's photosphere the visible surface layer that can affect its apparent brightness. Backslash N backslash N, different observational methods of analysis have been used to solve this mystery. Spectroscopic studies have shown a decrease in the effective temperature of Betelgeuse, suggesting that the dimming may be caused by a large dark spot on the surface of the star. This theory was supported by the observation that Betelgeuse's temperature decreased by at least 170 kelvins during the dimming, suggesting significant surface changes. Finally, the breakthrough in the understanding of this extraordinary event came with the Hubble Space Telescope, humanity's watchful gaze into outer space. Hubble's observations indicated that the dimming of Betelgeuse was probably due to a significant ejection of hot material into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface and reduced the amount of light reaching us from Betelgeuse. The dust cloud was thought to originate from superheated plasma ejected from a large convection cell on the surface of the star. As it cooled, it formed dust grains that created a cloud that obscured light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's spectroscopic observations of ultraviolet light, which began in January 2019, played a crucial role in piecing together the timeline leading to Betelgeuse's dimming. Those observations detected evidence of dense, heated material moving through the star's atmosphere in the months before the dimming. In December 2019, several ground-based telescopes observed the decline of the star, especially in its southern hemisphere. Material initially brighter than the star's normal luminosity eventually moved outward and cooled to form a dark cloud. The hypothesis proposed that this outflowing material and the resulting dark cloud caused the star to dim suddenly. The scale of this adjustment was truly monumental, and it thrust Betelgeuse into the astronomical spotlight. The star ejected about 400 billion times more mass than is normally released in a normal coronal mass ejection. This ejected material, believed to be many times the size of our moon, was an important event not only for Betelgeuse, but also for advancing our understanding of stellar mechanics. What are the implications of such a massive ejection of material for the Betelgeuse and supernova theories? The implications are profound and challenge traditional notions that red supergiants spread mass at a constant rate before dying explosively. Instead, the extent of this throw suggests a more turbulent, 
and potentially unpredictable end-of-life phase for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be gearing up for its grand finale, a supernova explosion in the next few millennia? Recent studies speculate that Betelgeuse could.